so we have understood what is python and on what principles it is working upon plus we have also installed the python's environment on our computers it simply means that we are good to go with the basics of python now and today we will learn a very important lesson of python from the thumbnail you have already got to know that today we are going to learn about tokens of python hello everyone this is rajat valecha you are watching computer learn and this is the third part of our series python reloaded question arises what is a token in general means well if i would say that whenever you write something in english your english dictionary or your english grammar or your english words that we are using right so everywhere you will find a number of words with a number of rules right similarly in our programming languages we do have tokens just like in english or hindi or in all the other languages we have a number of terms we have a grammar that defines which word we have to put when and what does that word will do with the sentence similarly while you will write the codes in python or in any of the programming languages these tokens will guide you what do you have to write and what does it actually means so these tokens are basically elements of our program in easy words if i would say then we can say that tokens are elements of our program these are those individual objects with the help of which you will write all your programs so whenever whatever you are writing in your codes everything is made up of tokens only now let's talk about the classification of tokens in python well we have five categories of tokens here and i have listed all the categories for you first we have keywords then we have identifiers we have literals operators and punctuators so first of all let's understand what are these five and then we will talk about each one of them in detail the first one is keyword well keywords are the reserved words of the programming language for example when you write any sentence in english grammar generally we have verbs adverbs prepositions right so these keywords are similar to those words which are fixed in a sentence but in the in the sentence the words that often do change are the words like your verb or noun a pronoun right these three words do actually change and make changes in the sentence definition similarly if we talk about python programming lang language those fixed words that you are using in all these sentences are called as keywords or these are the reserved words of the python and these words are already available inside inside the python's character set well in every version of python there are different number of keywords for example in python 3.6 there were 33 keywords then in python 3.8 there were 40 keywords so generally they do change the number of keywords with the python version well in the next video i will also show you how you can see how many characters sorry how many keywords do we have in our python 3.10 or 3.11 now the next term that we have is identifiers well from this you can easily understand it names given to entities whatever entities in a program you will create or any programmer will create or these entities that are made by a programmer these are the user defined entities that a programmer must have created right so names that you will give to these entities are called as the identifiers for example you have assumed a variable for example in mathematics we do assume a number of variables let a equals to 5 b equals to 10 c equals to ram d equals to something else so all of these are the variables here this a b c d are the variables and these variables can be called as the identifiers similarly when you will create functions in your program these function names will be the identifiers similarly when you will create modules or packages in the python those modules those package names will be the identifiers okay so these identifiers are the names that we are giving to our variables to our packages to our functions and all sort of things that we have defined that we have created 
on our own now there's a very important question that might be asked like uh, in your exams sometimes well this question is difference between a variable and a identifier so and an identifier so if we talk about any identifier identifier is generally a name that you have given to any user defined entity this entity can be of any type it can be any variable or it can be any function any class name any package name any module name or any name that you have made on your own and you are using that name in the python programs whereas if i talk about the variables variables are those names that you have given to any particular unknown value okay so variables are generally used for the unknown values and these are not the names of functions or packages or modules these are just the names that will store some sort of value in your program for example in general when we write a equals to 5 so this a will be defined as a variable which is an identifier in our case but if we say that all the identifiers are variable well the sentence is not actually correct because some identifiers can be function names as well and modules names as well well we will discuss about this term identifier as well in the coming video so don't worry about that next we have literal okay now literal are the fixed values all the values that you have made the constant values of your programming are called as the literal values Let's assume you have written a equals to 5. Now in this scenario, this a is a identifier or a variable, but the question arises, what is this 5? This 5 is a value that we have given and this 5 is a fixed value, my friend. So we can say that this 5 is a type of literal. We have generally, generally I am saying, we have generally three types of literals in normal programming languages. These are integer literals, then we have float literals, then we have string literals. Okay. In some cases, we can also have some Boolean literals as well. And in programming, in Python programming, we have some more literal types as well. Okay. So, we will talk about these literals in the separate video of literals in detail. Next, we have operators. Now, these operators are the meaningful symbols. Well, it too simply means something, right? Meaningful symbol means when you put these symbols in your Python words or in your Python sentences, these symbols will simply make some changes in your program code. Let's say you have written 2 plus 5. Now, in this scenario, this 2 plus 5 means that you want to add 2 and 5 and this plus is a symbol that you have used in between 2 and 5. So, this plus is an operator. Let's say you have written a equals to 5. In this case, this equals to is an operator. Similarly, we have n types of operators available in Python. At last, we have punctuators. Well, punctuators are the most important things. These are also called as the delimiters of the Python program. Punctuators simply means those markers those special symbols that will separate the keywords or sentences okay for example when you will put a comma or a colon or a semicolon or any bracket these are the punctuators of python programming so this was a basic introduction about the python tokens now from the next video onwards we will talk about each of these token in detail with the practical component so please, if you haven't subscribed us yet, do subscribe us and watch the next video for the more detail of these tokens.